كتاب الله دستوري وخير الخلق أسوتنا You know, there's one thing true about university students and even graduates. They're very proud of their school. Whatever college you go to, you may hate it right now. But when you graduate and you get the diploma, you're going to put it on the wall. You're going to be proud that you graduated from this school. You're going to feel a sense of like accomplishment and prestige. That's why the graduation ceremony is a, a ceremony where you are honored. Even in Islamic studies, when you get an ijazah, like you get an ijazah in Tajweed, you're very proud that you got your ijazah from this shaykh or that shaykh, right? Because it's a matter of prestige. When people in the United States go to Harvard or they go to Columbia or they go to NYU, they go to these elite schools, they're very proud that they went to these colleges. People are proud to have a certain shaykh as a teacher. They're proud of that. It's a matter of honor. When Allah says He taught the Qur'an, who's the teacher? Allah is. And if He's the teacher, what does that make you and me? Students, how honored are you and me that our teacher is Allah? Our teacher is Allah. And He didn't even say, عَلَّمَ nas Al-Qur'an عَلَّمَكُمْ Al-Qur'an عَلَّمَ نَبِيَّهُ Al-Qur'an He says, عَلَّمَ Al-Qur'an He taught the Qur'an. Who did He teach? He didn't even limit it. So the invitation is open. Anybody who wants to learn. Anybody who wants to learn, come on and learn. Allah did not close that door. If you're 50 years old in the audience and you don't know how to read Quran, it is okay. Start now, fine. Don't be ashamed. Start now, start a little bit. You know? And other people in our community, when somebody comes to you from the, at the masjid, or somebody comes to you privately and says, look, I'm a professional, I'm an accountant, I'm a doctor, I'm a dentist, I'm an engineer, but I don't know anything about the Quran, I can't even read. Last time I read, I was eight years old. Don't be angry at them and say, Astaghfirullah, how could you do that? Don't do that, man. They came to you. They came to you. Respect those people, honor those people. Maybe Allah sees them as more valuable than you, what you've been doing. They made hijrah to Allah, they stepped on their pride. They're so educated in their field, but they admitted their ignorance of this in front of someone else. That's humility before Allah. Allah loves humility. We have to honor those people. We have to make inv invite those people, make them feel welcome. You know, this is what we have to do. And our Muslim society is like that. Not all of us are literate in the Quran. Not everybody knows what the Qur'an means. Not everybody knows how to recite the Qur'an or even how to memorize. Well, you know what? It is your job to make the deen inviting for everybody else. Don't be angry at those people that don't pray. Don't care for them. If you don't care about them, you will never bring them to this deen. You cannot be da'is if you don't care about people. You have to care about society. Don't drive by the neighborhoods that have a bar and a club and a movie theater and go, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. You have to care about, that's your country. Those are your people. You have to care about them. You have to invite them. Some one of your friends is going there. You say, hey bro, let's go play soccer. Let's play, sorry, football. Let's play football instead. You know, let's go to the masjid and hang out. Let's go, you know, eat some, eat some uh, prata. You know, let's do something else. You, you have to do that. Stop being angry at the people that are not in the masjid. They're also our people. They're also our ummah. They are just the lost sheep of La ilaha illallah. That's who they are. Allah did not close the invitation even to the worst kuffar. How can we close the invitation from our fellow Muslim brothers and sisters? How can we do that? How can those sisters here that are wearing hijab look with hateful eyes to the woman that doesn't wear hijab? She doesn't wear hijab because maybe nobody taught her. Maybe she doesn't know why she should wear it. Maybe she asked her parents, why should I wear hijab? And they didn't know how to answer her. And it's a fair question. It deserves an answer. Maybe they weren't able to answer her. And she says, maybe there's no reason to do it. I don't have a good enough reason. Maybe if somebody actually talked to her and respected her and treated her like a dignified human being, she would change her mind. You don't know that. So we have to have that attitude and concern. Wallahi, this is the sunnah of our messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to teach the Qur'an with love even to those who hate. To teach it with love even to those who hate.